about done, I'm gonna go out there and introduce you next. You just come on out and tell the boys what you wanna play. We'll take them there, okay? You nervous? <laughs> Good. You got one shot at the big time. You mess this up, you can be back home pissing in a bucket the rest of your life. But if you play good, boy, it's a whole new world. Oh, Lord, I got it. Feel nervous? Are you cutie? Goldie Hill, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't she a peach? Well, now, I would like to introduce you to some fine guitar playing. Not First time out there, boy? boy yes. Yes, sir, Mr. Williams. What's your name, son? Hank. Work for me. Terrible waste of talent to leave him there. So we combed his hair. Hey, listen, Hank, you go out there and you let her rip because the crowd's a sucker for a fast song. Hey, yes. Boy? yes, sir. So let's give a big grand old Opry welcome to the youngest cotton picker, Mr. Hank Garland. Hank, come on out here, son. Let the folks have a look at you. What's it gonna be? It's a boogie, key of E. A boogie, key of e. I might go a little fast. Oh, I might go a little fast. <laughs> interested in knowing everything there is to know about you. <laughs> Susie. Nope. Mm, Nancy. Uh-uh. Rita. Uh-uh. Marion. Mm -mm. Susie. And you said that one already. <laughs> well, you know, sweetie, my sensory perceptions usually work a lot better after, you know, a kiss. Gives me insight. Maybe later. <laughs> well, I hope not too much later. There's a lot of other girls' names I could be guessing. Hank. What? I told you I never do this. Would you believe me? Well, what sort of thing is it you don't do? Because you seem to be doing it all last night. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you're so damn cute. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what I meant was, I don't go backstage at the Opry like in a screw some star. Star? Well, you must have me confused with somebody else. I ain't no star. I'm just a session player, a side man of the stars. Mm -mm. You're becoming a bona fide celebrity around here. Mm -hmm. They say you're the best guitar player in this. Well, I think you've got me confused with someone else. I'm Hank Garland. I'm the best player in the world. And parts of Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesus, Copa. You need to get a quieter horn. Maybe you need to start drinking a better brand of whiskey. Don't you rob me blind now when you lock it up. <laughs> Is that what the last girl did? Did you at least know her name? I know your name, sweetie. I'll get it right next time, I promise. Bye. Bye. Best move over, Copas. My ass, Hank, you ain't driving this car. Drive like an old woman. We never get to the studio. Oh, yeah. It's a new car. Open man. the door. Let me drive. You don't got to the door, Hank. Hey! What? 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 Now listen to it. Will you, will you leave it alone? Look, Tommy comes in before the bridge. It's what? It's gonna sound like shit. How can you not hear that? You got the bass stepping all over everything. What are you? No, okay. It sounds fine. It doesn't sound fine. Listen to it. What do you want, Hank? We just get rid of everything else. All we hear is you. No. But you got Roy Orbison, the sweetest voice in the whole world, singing your song. And you can't hear it because this guy over here is going boom, 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 All right. Boom, 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 boom. Show's over. Take it back to you, Tommy, and we'll just pick it up at the top of that Fuck second you, verse. Thank you, Jerry. If I thought it'd make any difference, I'd come in there and shove this guitar up your tone-deaf ass. Now, Hank, let's just finish what we're doing. I mean, seriously, whose dick did you suck to get this job? <laughs> Get the hell off me! Hey, come on, guys. I'll show you you suck in the water around here. Come on, Jerry, get up. You told me, boy. Come on. Keep your head. Hey! Somebody want to tell me what the holy hell's going on around here? Well, I guess that's what they call creative differences, huh? Look, I'm paying Jerry a whole mess of money. Not only to make sure this record sounds good, but to get it done on time. Now, he can't do that if you two are going to be wrestling in the studio. And all I'm trying to do is make sure it gets done right. Well, all I'm trying to tell you is that ain't your job. You hired gun, Hank. Just play your part and shut your mouth. If I lay something down in there that ain't 100%, I look bad. I've got a reputation, Ryan. Huh. Well, Hank, I've got a reputation, too. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some hit guitar jog. Hey! Uh, Hank? Could you excuse us? Sure. All right. Hey, Roy. I'm sorry, right. about, I'm sorry about that. No, I'm not taking sides on this. Mm -hmm. But the contract that you and I signed says I can pick the musicians I want. That's right. And I want Hank. If it comes down to a choice between him and Jerry, well, Hank is gonna stay. That's your call, Roy. Mm -hmm. That's your call. I'll take care of it. 
Hey, Roy, I didn't mean to... Don't ever put me in that kind of spot again, Hank. Okay. Now, hey, hey, you can't go pissing in the wind with the labels. Now, you make a decent living doing what you love. Be goddamn grateful, will you? Well, it's either that or you ain't got a career, Hank. They'll lock you out. Never work in this town again. I've seen it happen. They're not gonna shut me out. They need me. Even that shithead Bradford needs me. Yeah, well... <sighs> <sighs> Whatever you think the worst is, it's really ten times that. These redneck studio boys have muscle, Hank. On the house, fellas. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. What's the occasion? A uh, little bon voyage. I'm going back to Chicago, taking the family. Going to uh, visit the old neighborhood, get away from the cowboy faggots for a while. <laughs> That's what we need. Let's go on tour for a few weeks. Give Hank a chance to cool his heels out of town. <laughs> Hell, Hank can get in as much trouble in Biloxi as he can here. Well, look, if we go back out on the road, we gotta see some new places. I've seen Mike in Montgomery too many times. Maybe we could hit Chicago, New York. Hey, Jimmy, they got honky-tonk music where you're from, don't they? Sure, they got places you can play your giddy app shit. <laughs> but they got real music, too. South side blues would melt in your mouth. Some hot jazz. Yeah, you'll love it, Hank. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go on the road. Plan on checking in tonight? Thank you. Uh, Hank, we're gonna head over to the hotel bar. Are you coming? I think I'm gonna do a little exploring of my own. Okay. Well, if you get lost, just uh, head north. If you fall into Lake Michigan, you've uh, gone too far. be a little lost. They don't have many clubs like this where I'm from. Oh, they probably got them. You just ain't never seen them. No, 
not with players like that. Oh, yeah. I don't care where you come from. You won't find no one who can grind an axe like Wes. Wes? Wes Montgomery, man. You picked a damn good night to come in, cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I'll be right. I'll be right now. I just need another key. I want to go to my room. What's your name, sir? It's, it's Bird. Bird. What? He's seen me here. I know he has. What is it? This is bullshit. Well, sir, there's hey. no need to get upset. <laughs> hey, tell these cocksuckers I'm staying here. Sir, Mr. Garland, do you know this man? That's Billy Bird. He's staying down the hall. Well, he's been creating a disturbance throughout this hotel using language that. <laughs> language? What is he? I'm speaking English, you dumb cocksucker! <laughs> Sir, that is the last time you call me cocksucker. Now go on, you hang on, kick his ass! Ow! 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 <laughs> What is he talking about? We should get you to bed. He's not usually like this. He's out of town, you know. Things are going kind of. You bring that belt back. Come on, hey. <laughs> kicker <laughs> no, uh -uh. For such a smooth guitar player, you aren't much of a conversationalist. Yeah, I, 
I can usually talk a pretty mean game, but that was a tough crowd. It's a neat trick you've got. I bet that works all the time. Those sweet little hillbilly girls with their perky tits come backstage wanting to spread their legs for you because you're the only man for miles who's bathed that night and has on an almost clean shirt. <laughs> I know how things work down there. You're not gonna try out some of your backstage lines on little old me, are you? No, ma'am. Besides, I don't think they'd work. You look like you've got plenty of your own lines. Try me. What do you do? Do you tell them that they're the prettiest girl in the county? Let them touch your guitar? Sometimes. Lately, though, I've been trying to guess their names. That's always fun. <laughs> So guess my name. All right. Well, um... <laughs> your name's Evelyn. Who told you? I said a man that looked that good and played the guitar like that must be great in bed. Everything I play is pretty. It's just with you in the room, it doesn't seem like it. What's on the guitar, Hank? Hang on just a minute. <laughs> you like that thing more than me, don't you? No, I've just known her longer. Are you going to miss me in New York? Maybe I'm gonna miss you so bad they're gonna have to lock me up in the loony bin and throw away the key. I'm being serious. Well, I'm being serious too, babe. I mean, I'm gonna miss you. I looked on a map. I mean, <laughs> Nashville doesn't look that far. Oh, yeah? You gonna come to Nashville? Only if I'm invited. Well, baby. You come to Nashville. You own that town. They're gonna write a million songs about you, Ev. <laughs> Damn, Copus. Ain't that the queerest looking sailor you ever seen in your life? You could practically hear him swishing from here. What'd you say, hop along? Said you come down the wrong alley. The one where you get the cheap hand jobs from the college boys is too down. Well, I heard you give them for free. You don't want any trouble, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
We got three days leave, so we came to see you play that hillbilly music. Y'all, this is my brother Billy. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch! This is Billy! <laughs> so, <laughs> we're out in the middle of the Yellow Sea. The Yellow Sea? Yeah. It's not really yellow, honey. It's just over there in Korea. Hmm. Except they call it the Hang High. Well, how's the food? Oh, the food. The food is delicious over in Korea. You like dog or monkey? Uh. Youngin, can I talk to you for a minute? I'll have him right back, I promise. <laughs> Look, I got you the best room in the house, in case you need some, you know, privacy. Well, I sure do appreciate that, big brother. <laughs> Good night. So she. Uh-huh. Good night. <laughs> so where are we? They said this was your room. We got it right for once. I was wondering if you might want, you know, some company. I really like your playing. So I really like you. Mm. Wow. Well, let's see, there's this girl back in Chicago and I... Oh, you can think about her while you're with me. I don't mind. Well, now that is a hell of an idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I tell you what, fair is fair, so... If there's anybody that you want to think about while you're with me, well, then I guess that's all right, too. See, Nashville's a tough place. You got your studios, you got your record companies, and you got your musicians union. They're all tight, they all work together. Call them the Dixie Mafia. You play ball their way, you don't play at all. You having trouble? No. It's nothing I can't handle. But I want to do more, man. I want to do the big stuff. I want to own my own music. I don't know if you know this about me, though, but I tend to rub people the wrong way sometimes. <laughs> You don't say. It's you, Billy. Beautiful little baby brother. <laughs> you can sell turkey feathers to a peacock. <laughs> they love you. Everybody does. What are you getting at, Hank? My food's getting cold. When you get out of the Navy, why don't you come to Nashville? Help me out. We go into business together. We can own the music. Be like, be your manager. No, man, be my eyes. I got the hands. We can take care of each other, Billy. You're the only person I trust. I need you to be my eyes. Today. No, five sessions, probably four hit records. What happened on the fifth one? <laughs> it was just after lunch. The drummer was a little groggy. Hank, you know Ryan Bradford, don't you? Dunbar Records? Sure. Ryan was just telling me how he's looking to find some studio time for Elvis. He wants you to play on the session. The Colonel told me Elvis said you were the finest guitar player he ever heard. Here, these are for today.
Standard release form, Hank. Just sign on the bottom. You know, that last piece for Teller Records, I did most of the arranging on it. Well, that explains the extra hour you took in that session. What I'm saying is I did more writing on it than whoever's gonna get credit for it. How many times we gotta do this dance, Hank? I mean, you get paid as a writer or you get paid as a player. Now, you can't have it both ways. Well, why not? Because it's always been that way. It was that way when you asked me last month. It was that way when you asked me about it two years ago. And it's gonna be that way when you bring it up next week. What I'm saying is when you take what I make and you take what a writer makes, it doesn't add up. Somebody's getting rich off my work. Well, if it's such a big deal, Hank, don't sign the release. What happens if I don't sign? You don't get paid. Yeah, I've been missing you too. I know how we can take care of that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Ah, you too. We'll find something. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's like I can't even breathe without her around. So I just live my life in dreams of yesterday. Those happy hours that we once knew. Well, congratulations, you little shit. Thanks, Paul. Keep this thing real pretty for you, Hank. You know that amp you owe me? Yeah. We'll say uh, we have your wife work it off and call it even. There you go. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> yeah, I, I congratulate you too, cousin, but I, I'm I'm way too jealous. Oh, bird, that's real sweet. No, Hank, I'm jealous of her. I love you, Hank. <laughs> Come on, give me a kiss. <laughs> Just a little one. Evelyn don't even need to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cut him off. <laughs> I mean, I 
ain't surprised. You're a great player, Hank. And that is the biggest name in the biz. You like playing for him? <laughs> Christ. Now I gotta find another guitar. Hmm. Well, Bird's not out with Tub right now. You could hire him. That lush. <laughs> I like to hire guys I know won't pass out or piss themselves in the middle of a set. Sure you want to stick around for a couple of weeks, Hank? No, no, he's, he's going on the road with Eddie in four days. And then he's in the studio, he's got Eddie's TV show, so. I ain't wasting no time. I mean, he can probably pay you more than I can. And... It ain't about that. I just don't want to feel like I'm sitting still. Is that what we were doing? Yeah, I thought we were doing pretty good. But it was good playing with you, Hank. Me too, Lloyd. Well, hello and good day to all you folks listening to WACN and the AM. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning, and sitting across from me is the equally beautiful and charming Miss Evelyn Garland. Say hello, Evelyn. Hello, Nashville. Evelyn is the wife of our very own Hank Garland, who many of you know is one of the best guitar slingers anywhere. And Evelyn was nice enough to stop by to introduce one of the records her husband played on. So, Evelyn, if you'd be so kind. This is one of my favorites, and I hope it will be one of yours. It's with Elvis, and it's called Such a Night. And Hank, wherever you are, I love you, baby. It was a night. Ooh, what a night it was. It really was such a night. The moon was bright. Oh, how bright it was. It really was such a night. The night was a light with stars above. <laughs> hey, I thought you were going to listen to me. I did listen to you. Yeah, so damn cute, I almost kissed the radio. <laughs> there you go. One in the car. You don't have a radio in your car. I know. But you got a radio in your car. Oh, my God. Ow! <laughs> Maybe I side with Eddie Arnold. About afford anything you want. Baby. I go out walking after midnight out in the moonlight, just like we used to do. I'm always walking. After midnight searching for you I walk for miles along the highway Well, that's just my way of saying I love you I'm always walking after midnight searching for you I stop to see a we Probably two weeks, three at the most. I'll be fine. Hello, baby. Hey. I've never left anything or anyone at home before when I went on the road. This doesn't feel good saying goodbye like this. Don't go. You just stay here with me. <laughs> Don't leave me. Don't go. Yeah, I have to. I know. It's, it's my first. I know. As long as I know you're coming home to me, everything's going to be all right. We never have to worry about that. Okay. I will never leave you. I will always come home to you, Ev.
What? Are you fucking other women? <laughs> what? No, I'm not fucking other women. You're lying, Hank. I know that you are. I have proof. What kind of proof do you have, Evelyn? I have friends out there and they've seen you. Look, I want you to listen to me right now. I'm in love with you, Ev. I just married you. I'm not seeing other women. I'm warning you. Don't embarrass me. Oh, look, it's the middle of the night. What the hell's gotten into you? I'm sorry. I'm just so lonely. When are you coming home? I'll be home in a couple of days, okay? Okay. Okay. Too. Hmm. You're a sight. Let's go inside and make up for this time. You're gonna have to wait on that, babe. Kids in town. I gotta go to the studio. <laughs> you just got home. But Elvis is the king, babe. Garland sneaking in the door. Hey, <laughs> okay, Good to see you. What's that you're playing, Hoss? Oh, it's just a little something I warm up with. Gotta stay loose, Elvis. <laughs> loose, man. You're loose. Sounds like a hit record. You gotta record that thing. Thank you. And now, folks, it's time for what's become one of the most popular segments of our show. This is where we highlight one of the best guitar players anywhere, our own Hank Garland. Come on out here, Hank. Show us what you got. Thank you, Eddie. I've got something for you tonight that I'm sure you're all going to enjoy. It's a song I wrote called The Sugarfoot Rag. Having a hit record. Yes. 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 Yes.
<laughs> and here's to the pricks who pay for the champagne but wouldn't even talk to me last month. Here's to you, miserable pricks. <laughs> <laughs> must you talk like the truck driver? No. I must talk like the man who's got the number five record in the Xbox <laughs> charts. That's right, and it's going to stay that way from now on, Hank. We got three different record companies lining up. I'm not sure what the big deal is. Songs just Hank's old finger exercises strung together with Red here singing over the top of them. <laughs> I could have done that. Bird, maybe you should have done it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that simple, Bird. Magic in those fingers. Even if you got that right, Red. Sorry to interrupt. Just want to offer my congratulations. Sugarfoot Rag. How about that? Huh? Ryan. We sure do appreciate it, Ryan. It's on, Billy. Yes, it's awfully nice of you. You must be the famous Mrs. Garland. Please, call me Evelyn. Evelyn, you know, you didn't know more beautiful than what people say. <laughs> Thank you. Hank, you unfortunate son of a buck. How you get so lucky? Talent, hit record, beautiful wife. Did you make a deal with the devil? Well, I will not lie, it was discussed. I wouldn't sign a release form. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm keeping you off from your dinner. Hank, we got to work together again. Put our differences behind us. Real good about it. All right, glad to hear it. Red, you're still the man. Evelyn. Well, that was interesting. So beautiful. <laughs> Sometimes I can't take my eyes off you. And I want you to talk to him again. Talking to who? You know who I'm talking about. Hank, you think? <laughs> I don't want you to. Not ever. You understand me? You understand? I understand. That's my girl. Come on now, whenever you're ready, okay? Spanish. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Billy. Can I talk to you for a second? Uh, excuse us, Gail. Don't go nowhere. <clears throat> Listen, I've been hearing things. Oh, really? I've been hearing things, too. What kind of things have you been hearing? The bad kind. Your brother's pissing some people off. People who normally don't have a lot of patience when someone's pissing them off. Yeah, he does that, Jimmy. Yeah, but it's getting bad, Billy. He's playing with these colored guys at Printer's Alley twice a week, and that ain't going over so well. Christ, no one cares. It's just another excuse these for him to screw us. guys don't an excuse, especially with a hothead like Hank. Look, I'm just telling you what I hear. You keep an eye on him, huh? And uh, if you need any help, you'll let me know, huh? Thanks, Jacob. So my mom called. She asked if I wanted to go and stay up north with her for a while. Yeah? That might not be a bad idea. Hank, I feel alone in this. It's not fair. I'm supposed 
to be a family. And we will be. You're never here. You're not with me when you are. You're in your study with the guitars and that electronic shit, or you're playing in that dirty club all night. Look, I can't do this right now. Ev, I mean, the fellas are gonna be here any minute. I know. I know. There's always something else that you have to do when we need to talk. How about if I bring something real nice back for you from the road? Introduce you to fellas. Paul Desmond, Dave Rubeck, Joe Morello, and Joe Benjamin. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Bird. Is, uh... Hank's not here. They're still on the road. Oh, I thought, I thought I'd be uh, back by now. They extended. East Coast. Well, good on, good on them. That's, that's great. How, how you doing? You, uh, you gonna be a boy? You gonna have a, a, a little guitar player? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, you, you think, uh, It'd be okay if I came in for a minute. I, I, could, I could really use a, a cup of coffee, you know? I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll come, come back by when, when he's home, I, I guess. Actually, Bird, I'd appreciate it if you didn't. I, I, I understand. Uh, yeah. Goodbye.
was a swell time to go gliding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. Mix and a mingle in the jingling feet. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's not a certified hit. I'll kiss every ass in this room. <laughs> That's a great song you two wrote. Well, if you say so, Jerry. But to tell you the truth, it feels kind of silly to me. Silly? You watch what old Jerry does with this baby. Let me tell you something, Bobby Helms. It's going to go gold before you even leave the room. That silly song is going to pay for Hank's little girl to go to Vanderbilt someday. What a fine time. It's the right time. To get rich every day. For a fair in my drive, bird. I was just in the neighborhood. It's good to see you. you don't come around much anymore. How you been? You, you know, I, I'd like to come around, but how's how's your family? The, the little girl, Cheryl. She's beautiful. Cheryl. That's real pretty. I want you to, uh, to take this, Hank. Well, I got one just like it, Bird. Remember, we designed it together. <laughs> the Birdland. You losing your wits. This bird land is the, uh, the most beautiful thing I got left. I want you to take it for me, Hank, until I can play again. If I can get my hands on it, I'm, I'm just gonna sell it. I really don't want to sell it, hey? I used to be a pretty good picker. I could play darn near anything they asked me to. And then you, you come along and... Bert, you just need a break, man. Uh, maybe we can... We can get you some session work or something. Yeah, thanks, Hank. Thanks, but I'm, I'm uh, I I got a, a a few more rounds tonight, so I I should probably probably just get going. Hey, it's a simple fucking question. Are we getting paid or not? It's not that simple. Look, Jingle Bell Rock made millions. Me and Bobby wrote it. We should get paid. That's pretty simple. Hank, you and Bobby were both signed as artists, not writers. You've been paid. Well, then who wrote the song? Who fucking wrote the song, hold Billy? On, Come on. on. Hold on. Jerry, you said on that day that Hank and Bobby wrote it. It's not up to me, Billy. I, I don't own the label. I just produce this stuff as best I can and, and hope somebody will give me the chance to do it again. Who do we go talk to now? 
Jesus, not me. <laughs> I just run a recording studio. I don't know shit. You gotta go down to Music Row and deal with the company. Oh, be sure to let Mr. Brad... Mr. Garland! You can't... Hank! Hey! You motherfucker. Huh? What the... Please. You steal from me, you son of a bitch! Oh. Hey! Get off! Get off! You are done! You are done in this town! We are sick of your shit! I want him out of here! I want them out of here now! Well, that was a hell of a plan. Oh, no, fuck him, Billy. Let's go make that record. Let's do it right. Okay, but we gotta act before Columbia changes their mind or Ryan Bradford runs you out of town. Or worse. All right, here we go. Columbia recording of Jazz Winds. Artists Hank Garland, Gary Burton, Joe Morello, Joe Benjamin. Take one. Whenever you're ready, Hank. Okay, Hey, I know a place you can stay, Joe. I guarantee nobody will bother you there. Cool. Coming, sweetie. The hotels wouldn't take him. What was I supposed to do? So you just invite any colored with no place to stay to sleep on my couch? No, I invite my bass player to sleep on our couch. I am trying to make a respectable home here. A respectable home that I paid for so I can invite whoever the hell I want. You're going too far, Hank. Don't push me like this. What are you doing? We are supposed to be starting a new life here. Yeah? A real family. What was wrong with the old life, Ev? You never filled me in on that. In the old days, I bet you never cared who woke up on your couch. What can I get for you, darling? Whatever he's having. So let me try to understand this. 
beautiful woman walks into the bar and asks me to buy her a drink. <laughs> I mean, I can't even dream women as good looking as you are. Well, maybe you're not trying hard enough. You should try harder. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm serious. I think we should just skip over those first few months of getting acquainted. Just get engaged. As soon as you finish your drink. I think it's gonna take a few more of those before I'm in that state. <laughs> All right, then. Line them up. <laughs> well, Evelyn. Ryan. Why don't you come sit down, have a drink with us? I'm having a drink with my new friend here. He won't mind. Sugarfoot. I haven't seen you in a while, brother. Hey, Doug. It's a shame. Of course, I don't frequent clubs that serve certain types. No offense. <laughs> Joe, this asshole is Doug Johnson. He runs the Musicians Union. This is Joe Benjamin, my bass player. Cool. Yeah, cool. Listen, Hank, I've been getting a lot of phone calls. Yeah? What about? About all these sessions you've been booking. Boys aren't too happy you keep bringing cats in from out of town. That right? That's right. Yeah, they're starting to think that you're just too fucking good for us poor country assholes. Fuck you, Doug. No, fuck you. Keep bringing these niggers in here, there's gonna be problems. Oh, yeah? What kind of problems, Doug? What you gonna do? You asking for trouble, cousin. Maybe I'll see you around. It's always easy to find you. You remember that. Thanks for the advice, shithead. You know, I play a little bass, too. Doug, he plays better bass than you with his dick. Yeah. He probably can. <laughs> Where you heading? Third and grain. You need to talk to your friend, Garland. You hear me? Yeah. No more city niggers playing our gigs. You send him home. You hear me? Yeah, yeah.
You used to love me. about it. I was... I'll just kill you. playing. Hello, Hank. Where's Cheryl? I left her at Mom's for a while and until things settled down a bit. 
probably a good idea. How do you feel? I don't know. I'm giving me lots of shit. All I can think about is that night. The night of the accident? I know. I know. It wasn't an accident. It's not your fault. Things just got messed up. I just got so messed up. I want to come home. I want to come home with you and Cheryl. That sounds good, Hank. I'll never leave you. Remember? break and drive us both crazy. I don't know why this is so hard for me. You heard what the doctor said. It's gonna take a while. It's not gonna take a while. I told Mom we'd drive up on Saturday and pick up Cheryl. Gosh, she's talking so much. She can't wait to see you, Hank. Hank? Are you listening to me? You asked me what was wrong with my old life. There was nothing wrong. I could have anything that I wanted. But nothing ever seemed real. Nothing ever felt like it could last. Feeling like everything in your life can be taken away from you. Always being so alone. You know, could never understand that, could you, Hank? You always knew what you had. You had this light around you. I wanted that. I dreamt that I would bathe in that warm, safe light with you forever. I didn't understand that you couldn't share it. I didn't understand that that was between you and the music.
but light only comes when you play Hank. And now you can't even play. So it's the same old empty life for me. I should have killed him. I should have killed Brad for when I had the chance. I should have killed the son of a bitch. I should have killed him before he got to you. <laughs> before he got to me.
Can I get you anything else, Hank? No, thanks. It's beautiful outside today. Not so muggy. Let's take a walk. Be good to get your legs working. Maybe later. Okay. I got to tell you. We just got word that uh, Evelyn was in a car accident up in Wisconsin. Cheryl. Cheryl's fine. said there's going to be a small funeral, but I said, uh, I doubt you make it. to introduce this next artist because he's someone I brought to this stage for the very first time some 30 years ago. There's been a lot of great guitar players to come down the pike. There's only one, Hank Garland. He has no equal. It is my great privilege to welcome back home artist, arranger, writer, inventor, one of the best goddamn guitar slingers ever, Mr. Hank Sugarfoot Garland. <laughs> 